Pack Squads, welcome back. Today's episode of Pack Squads is the first episode in the new house and the final legitimate episode of the season. Now remember, if you haven't watched the very first episode from the season, one new thing we are doing this season is when I start the montage grind, the push for World Series, which will be after this game today, I'm allowed to open a diamond pack for every win. So we're gonna get to keep adding the team in that montage season finale. We are currently sitting at a 786 rating. We got up to 815 and then we lost two in a row. We've gotta get back in the win column. If we beat someone in championship series, odds are our rating's gonna be right around 815 for the final push it also means that we'll have a diamond if it's a rage quit two more diamonds on the team for that push overall in three seasons of pack squads we are 50 and 23 on the dot eight of those losses were at the beginning of season two and season three we started season two on a five game losing streak we started this season on a three game losing streak not that it matters but if you take away those eight games where we were playing with a very raw squad against very good teams we're 50 and 50 15. You can't do that, but I do feel we've played better than that record shows. It's still a solid record, though. Pitching today is actually going to be the live series Sandy Alcantara, who may go live in the roster update tomorrow. I am recording this before the roster update, update so if he's diamond by the time this goes out, I apologize. I had to record this in advance. If he doesn't go diamond, I, I don't know what SDS is watching, to be straight up. Lineup's going to go Garrett Mitchell, Mike Trout, Larry Walker, Cattell Marte, Bryson Stott, Fernando Tatis Jr., Joe Maurer, who we added out of the Cover Athletes pack in the last episode, and Mike Schmidt. So now we have that Joe Maurer card platooning with the Mitch Garver. Seriously, this is a gigantic game. Granted, I am starting the final push a few days earlier than the last two seasons. So even if we lose this game and we're starting at like 765, which is where we started the push the last season, I'm going to have more time and a, an extra day to get this done. We are getting in this season. And to celebrate, I think you should go to SeatGeek, look for some baseball tickets. I know you've been meaning to go to a game. Code Shellfield, take 20 bucks right off the top of your order. On the road against the eight, 92 overall, bumped up to 95 at parallel four or Urshizer. He's got Pete Crow Armstrong parallel five at the top of the order. People who like Pete Crow Armstrong smash with him. So that makes me a little bit nervous. I like his team. His team looks like the, he's the kind of guy who plays with the guys he's good with and he doesn't really care about overalls. And those are always the most dangerous people. He's got a lot of games under his belt, but a lot of losses too. Let's get a dub. Garrett Mitchell with a lead off rip. That's a good swing to start the game and a pack. Oh, good cutter to start Trout. It's 0-1. Trout's just got one double for us. Oh, that's a pitch I want back. We're 0-2. I'm the ladder. Just challenge me. Oh, my God. It back stayed down there. Good jump. Good take. Give me that pack. Garrett Mitchell. Ow. Bro, I got such a good jump. How did he get me? Man. Took a perfect throw and tag. Whew, that sucks. Now it's 3-2 and two on Trout. Arrow something up. At least get us one run this inning. Good cutter. Woo. I thought he would go back to the sinker since I was so late on it before. Got us full. That was a great cutter. Great pitch. Now, just like that, there's two outs. Nobody on. And I will be power swinging until we got two strikes. No, Larry. I pulled the PCI just a little bit. Couple hittable pitches that inning. We do get one single, but then we squandered it one half step and we're safe at second with nobody out big tough but great throw by his catcher oh and two like throwing people off there i put the shift on and then pitched him away <laughs> popped it up a little soft on the infield one down didn't get the strike out fly ball right center Two down. Nice swing right there. He almost got one out. I would have been upset if I gave him a solo shot there if they're screwing up the top half. Five broken bat. Two broken bats on the inning. Make a throw. Beautiful play. Sandy does it all. PFPs. All right. He likes the sinker down and away to start the lefties. I got to start sitting on that. A little oppo bombing at some point here. Bad hack, hanging cover. All right, now he's starting to really miss. I got to stop giving him credit. Start just kind of looking out over the plate here. It threw. Good swing, Bryson, on top of that sinker, but he hit it hard. Through the hole, our second single of the game. The block behind the plate. Nice play back there. Pudge, man. So good. 
Gotta be early. Just didn't quite get down there. Two down. Joe? I pulled the PCI and it kind of jumped off the bat though. He doesn't have a lot of power. That probably gets out for a lot of guys. Just shy of the wall. All right, we got two singles. Uh, we've gotten caught trying to steal a bag and we stranded the other. Oh, he's just sitting inside and I still got him late and jammed right now. One down. Just don't want to overthrow that pitch. We've gotten a few broken bats, but I don't want him to eventually turn on one because I'm overthrowing it. We got to keep him honest. But Sinker got on top of that one. Again, that one was a very tough pitch, though. Two down. The Sinker's really working early. It's a tough pitch, especially here on Hall of Fame. It's coming in 97, 98. Springer in. Front door slider, and he was out early swinging on that. We're lucky he didn't go yard. He was just under it, but it's another three up, three down inning for Sandy. He's going to come up. Schmidt's leading off the inning. Schmidt's got to get on, so we don't have Sandy come up with one out, nobody on. Last thing you want is Garrett Mitchell coming up with two outs and nobody on. Just ruins the inning when the pitcher's up second. Oh, just out in front of that curveball. Got the hanger. I hope he changes sides and throws the sinker, but miss. Oh, that's a good pitch. It's a good one. Oh, Sandy, get down, ball. Get down, ball. No. No. But hold, we're full with Trout on deck. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? His mixes have been all over the place. But hold, ball four. Garrett Mitchell gets a pack on the walk and Trout will hit. Get down. Give me a weak one. Give me a weak one. Give me a weak one. No! Late. I was there too. He's starting to really dot that sinker down and in. I'm waiting for it though. No when he's throwing it. Just need him to really miss out over the plate a little bit so I can golf it. We got to pull the trigger early. We strand a runner in every inning. Michael Tolia going to come out and hit now. Bottom three. Who's going to strike first in this game? I have a feeling when I score, this might be one of those floodgate type games. Get a runner in scoring position and then suddenly, bam, bam, I score four in a blink of an eye. I would love to score first. Good slider. One and two on Tolia. And I'm just going to go ahead and be ultra aggressive with him. I haven't thrown a sinker up and in the entire game. Nice change up. Nice. That's disgusting. Nice. Woo, PFPs. Nice play over there by Schmidt. Now the pitcher spot's going to come up here with two outs. Nobody on Oral Hershiza. First pitch popped it up. Three up, three down, nine up, nine down. Clean first time through the lineup. He needs run support. Larry, there's that sinker down and away to the lefty. He finally missed. Too much plate. Finally. Larry Walker. I'm telling you, man, Larry Walker's got to be in the MVP conversation. That's his sixth home run. He's still batting 400. Patel now turns on a cutter. Hey, listen, SDS, let me be great now. I'll take two extra base hits in a row. Good rip. Stotties. Two for two. Still throwing real tough ones to the righties, though. I will say. That's tough to take. Joe Mauer. Perfect. Perfect. That's going to score one it will score one it'll be an rbi double for joe mauer back in the lineup three seasons in a row doing damage i love that that cover athlete pack is so easy to get and he's so usable out of it now let's get schmidt on base and flip this lineup no oh, it looks so good halfway through no oh, good sink perfect time for a sinker too i haven't sat on that cutter once there it is i rolled it though no i got my bitch i sat there and waited until i was patient we scored two Round ball, can tell Marte can't make the play. That's just so shelfy, man. I we're throwing a perfect game. As soon as I score runs, we give up our first hit immediately after. And it's on a soft grounder that he chased too. SDS always tries to make it as hard as possible for me. Oh one. Oh boy, I thought he went yard. I tried to quick pitch a sinker there and I threw it right over the plate. Er, Gibson, I would like it very much if you didn't go yard here, sir. Five. Four, three around the horn, double play. Tatis playing up on the grass. Thankfully, he hit it right at him. When I saw him up on the grass, I thought I was going to shoot by. I wasn't sure if he caught it at first. Sandy gets that first pitch sinker, and of all people, Sandy's the guy who rips it into the gap for a double. Let's go. Two packs. The king. Get out. Get out. Mike Trout's first bomb. Let's go. <laughs> Right when I start talking about Larry Walker being our MVP, Trout says, hold up now. The most electric man in Diamond Dynasty is in the lineup. Four zip. 
Uh oh. Beat that, Larry. Show off the wheels, Larry. Nice. He does it all. Marte now rips a gap. That's going to get down. Can it get by the left fielder? It cannot. Kirk Gibson makes the play on him. I am going to keep him at third. There's only one out. We'll have second and third. Two packs for Marte and a chance to really blow this game open here. Bryson down the line. Stay fair. No. Just hooks foul. I'm looking for that sinker. Trying to bait that sinker. I'm curious if he'll actually throw it now. He just tried to bait me with it on the changeup. He, he's scared to throw it. That's the first, the very first straight four seam he has thrown the entire game. He's scared of throwing that sinker now. Maybe curveball here. Change up. Good pitch. Nah, I don't know why. I, I knew he wasn't going to throw it, but I, I was holding faith and I tore myself up mentally. Tatis, I need a knock. Oh, the straight four seam. We strand runners on second and third. One out. We're up to nine hits. We're up four nothing, though. We're definitely in the driver's seat. Plenty of packs to go around right now. Uh oh. Back to back innings. We give up a leadoff single. That slider's right down the middle. We're lucky it's not 4 1. Our ground ball to second. Our ground ball to short. Okay. Not throwing Devers strikes anymore. Ah, just gets out. He cuts it in half. We have a chance to tack on two more. We do not. He immediately adds two of his own. A huge flip, and he's back in the game. The dotted sinker, too. Good swing. And we had him late on the four seam on the corner. Now we're going to try and run that sinker in again. Go ahead, take already right. seeing the spin well on the uh, sinker in now, which is not good. That's the pitch that's had him tied up. He fouls off the changeup. I'm going to get the bullpen going here. Dandy's been great in this game, but he's just seeing the spin now. We'll do Hater and Classe. Nice slider. Oh, no. The tying run is at the plate. We came into this inning up 4 nothing in a matter of three batters. The tying runs at the plate. Got to go mound visit here. Oh, no. Sandy, don't do me like this right now. One and two. So he's looking for that sinker away, but he's looking down. When I elevate it, he's late. Try and bury one first before I really challenge him. The pitch. Take a seat. We're having trouble getting in play balls hit at gloves this inning. Desperately need someone to squeeze a baseball. Popped it up. Let it land. Let it land. Christian Yelich is going to come off the bench and hit with Pete Crow Armstrong on deck. I'm sure he has a righty. He can go to um, off of Yelich if need be here. I'm going to try and get through this with uh, with Sandy, though. You see the pitch count by inning 11, 8, 9, 7, and 23 this inning. Oh, he almost got us. That might be it for Sandy. I believe his spots do up in the six. He gets through f uh, five, gives up two. We have the lead, and he has a double. Yeah, he's due up. That's going to do it for Sandy. Good start from him nonetheless, though. Eric Gagne out of the pen. That new Takashi set two. Mauer in. Mauer harden on the ground. I mean, all over that baseball. One down. It's not a good way to start an inning. Now Schmidt steps in 0 for 2. 98 on the ground. Ah, good pitch. Good pitch. Good pitch. Oh, man. I was way too aggressive that inning. Three up, three down for Gagne. That was a, uh, he's got the momentum right now. We got to get it back. Got to get a zero and a dinger. Going to bring Josh Hader out to pitch the bottom of the sixth. Tries to drop down a bunt, but it is 0-2 on Pete. All I know is when I ever do show bunt, I'm always expecting a fastball in the next pitch, so you'll never get it from me. Ha! Ha! One more strikeout from Hater, and he will strike out the side for a 13 strikeout appearance. He does that quite often, I must say. A one. Beautiful Josh Hater strikes out the side. 13 packs on the inning. Now a dinger. Going to go to Jose Alvarado. Two lefties do up this inning. And Trout. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> Trout? Oh, wow. I thought that when that thing went up in the air, I thought he crushed it. Then I had to peek at the PCI. <laughs> Timing felt great. Oh, Larry. Try to jump on a first pitch fastball. He's looking for his third hit here. If he can get a knock here, we can maybe get him back up in the ninth for a four hit game. 1-1. One, one. Beat it! Do it again. No, Pudge is too good. Horrendous. Dude, the last two innings have been brutal. We were on fire early. The bullpen's killing us. Hitting us with some different looks, different speeds, mixing it up. we got to keep pitching. Carlos Correa goes yard. First pitch fastball. Challenged him. He didn't miss it. It is a one-run game. Ever since I squandered that two runners in scoring position, it's been a different game. He went up out of the zone to get that, too. Let's warm up Doolittle with Class A. Devers flies out to left. Chopped. You better get there. Woo! 
Ooh, two down. He kind of left the mound late. One and two on Michael Tolia. I'm just going to be aggressive here. Beautiful pitch and a, a strikeout to end the inning. We need another run, man. It's been a while, guys. He keeps dotting that two seam right on the corner. And he, all over the place. Whenever he needs a strike, it's a good pitch. Get through. Marte with a single to lead off the inning. Hanging curveball to Bryson, but BCI again. A little off the... Those pitches, like, down the middle, I'm missing to the right. I've been doing that with my thumb a lot lately. It's a, that's a custom practice adjustment I got to get in there and make. Ripped. Just foul. Ripped and caught it shortstop on a line. No. Now we're in now. Well, I guess we'll go to the platoon here. I could use a bomb. Going to probably chase Alvarado out of the game, which is fine. Garver's got great power. Oh, he's going to keep him out. He's keeping him out. Good pitch, man. Every time you need to strike, it's dot season. 2-2. Two, two. Almost hit us. I don't know how he didn't hit us. We'll take second on the wild pitch, and it's 3-2. Good pitch. Whew, that's insane. Garve sauce was just laid on it. Good two seam. Little too much plate, but a good spot. We fly out the center. We strand one in scoring position after our leadoff single. That Tatis line out was rough. Bad time for it. We got to get a zero here. Hits are 10-5. 0-2 oh, on Pudge. Nice front door cut. Take a seat. Jorge Polanco going to come off the bench and hit. We are battling here, man. This has turned into a very fun, sweaty game here. Uh, minus the fun. Round ball. He pulled the PCI in for the cutter. Two down. Heat Crow Armstrong ground ball. First pitch. Three up, three down. We go to the ninth with the lead. Must win game. Michael Jack Schmidt insurance. The Devin Williams trademark changeup missed it right down the middle. Whoa. Andrew Benintendi going to come off the bench with that 1520 OPS, four bombs, need a knock. Keep us going. All right. That was probably the pitch to hit. Oh, one cutter missed. Now it's 0-2. We got to protect. Good fight. That's a good changeup. He probably wanted that down a bit more, but it's in a tough spot. He probably gets the call there if we take it. No shot. He just reared back and challenged us. He hasn't done that a whole lot today. Get through. Off the end of the bat, that hanging screwball. Now there's two outs in the ninth. Trout's already got a bomb in this one, and he's come close twice other than that. I just missed that curveball last time up. Of course, I'm taking all the way. Got a home run, a warning track shot, and a just missed swing on my part. And then a bad swing there runs us to 0-2. Come on, Trout. I tried to check my swing, man. It just didn't, it didn't happen. <laughs> Schmidt gives us an insurance run. Bring out Sandman for the save. Shot! 0-2 oh, on Kirk. I can pitch with so much more confidence here since it's a two-run game. Popped it up. We are one away from a big dub putting us in championship series. With four days left to play. I know the season ends like probably this is probably going up Sunday. So the season ends tomorrow at the time you're watching this. But we got four days left to play. Oh, and two on Carlos Correa. Another strikeout. I want a strikeout. Just in case we're sitting on nine right now, I want the strikeout. Stay out of the zone here, not even play around. Stop it anyway. Stott, you took a little... Okay, quick feet, nice play. I, I'm not a fan of letting the ball bet take that third hop for no reason. All right, big dub. 23 total bases, one walk, five runs, three homers, eight strikeouts. That is 40 packs. We get a 10-pack bonus because we struck out the side with Josh Hader. That gives us 50. Mike Schmidt's home run was 410 feet. Larry Walker's home run was 392 feet. And the Mike Trout home run was 370 oppo. So no distance bonuses today, just 50. Let's see if we had parallels. Bumps us all the way up to 817. 31 points there. As requested, we got to play someone over championship series. Got the dub. It gave us 31 points. So we are now going into the grind session at our highest rating point 
of the season, which is all we can really ask for. Here, Mitchell goes parallel one, gives us 55. Larry Walker, parallel two, 60. 60 packs to open. I'm not even going to play any games. We're opening a chase set two, looking for Carlos Delgado. I want someone I can platoon with Mike Schmidt, an absolute monster righty crusher that we can use. He'll probably start and Schmidt would be the platoon off the bench, but I'm throwing. This is like our fourth dart at chase set two this season. And it's another gold. Diamond premium pack and 10 more standards. Here we come. The last time we had 10 standards to open, we did pull who? Blue. It's blue. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The press will be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm. All right. 10 standards. It'll bring us down to 28 packs and we're done. Let's hope for some pack luck. I could use another. I'll take Corbin Burns live series here or just literally anyone that'll help with a collection. We just got a chase pack out of a standard pack, and now we're going to get to rip two of them in one episode. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come on. Bail me out. Just when I was beginning to feel good about things, they giveth and they taketh away two more of these standard packs. Absolutely outrageous. <laughs> That was the biggest tease of the season for sure. I can't be mad about Pack like at all, though. I mean, we just pulled Trout twice, and our team is obnoxious. All right, here we go. Diamond Premium Pack wheel spin. What are we ripping in the final episode? The NL Central. I was really hoping for the NL West. All right, NL Central Pack it is. We're going to open this bad boy up, and what are we going to do? I've heard great things about this Peak Pro Armstrong, man. Great defense and speed, too. Uh, this Mason Wynn, same thing. Great defense and speed. Austin Hendricks has power. I already have Garrett Mitchell. Henry Davis, I would be really interested in Henry Davis if he had first base as a secondary, but we do not need a catcher. Uh, we can maybe circle back to him in, the, in another NL Central pack later on. I'm going to do Pete Crow Armstrong. Obviously, I don't think he, he's going to start, but he can replace Juan Pierre on the bench. Just a much better defender. He's not as fast as Juan, but 89 speed as a, as a pinch runner is going to work just fine and we also have Luis Robert who can pinch run um I, just that increase in defense and power is worth it for me he's actually a serviceable pinch hitter compared to Juan Pierre more than just a speed defensive replacement you know what I mean so here it is this is what the squad is looking like going into the finale push and montage now remember we can open a diamond pack after each win during the push and the montage so in the season finale, the montage, we could have four games, eight games, 12 games, depends on how long it takes us to get in World Series. After each game, we will, well, after each win, I should say, we'll open a diamond pack. We are going to push, we're going to grind, and I'm going to get that video out probably on the last day of the month. I'm aiming for the 29th or the 30th for the finale episode. Give me a couple days. Pitching in that first episode of the montage is going to be Herman Marquez. I don't know if I want to pitch Jackson Joby at Oh, might skip right over them. We'll see how it goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up down below. Before we get out of here, though, one more time to finish the season. Let's check collection. I'm once again just going to go through team by team here. Auto fill and see where we're at. The or Orioles are at 38. And the Giants are at 36 out of 40. So pretty much, we have like five teams now that are just two cards away. Jim Tomey, Justin Morneau, Ray Durham, Jose Alvarado. We're getting close to some solid diamonds that you can get from these collections. Got a few collections done this season. Expect more in season four. What color should I do the thumbnails for season four? Let me know down below. The next time you guys see this pack squad steam, it's going to be in the World Series push montage grind for the season finale before we kick off season four. I appreciate all the love and support this season. Those of you that are hammering that shelfie seat geek code, enjoy the game whenever you go or if you've gone already. Hope you had fun and I'll see you you guys in the next one. I'm out.